hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new on my channel my name is stella i am an education and lifestyle youtuber i make videos from nigeria um on my if you haven't subscribed please click that subscribe button it is a red button down there and if you want to get notifications whenever i make a new video you click the the bell which is right next to the subscribe button you get notified whenever a new video pops up on my channel so in today's video as you can already see we have a wonderful guest some of you already know him because i filmed a video with him before my lovely husband say hi, hi to my hi, friend hi. welcome to my channel baby okay so in today's video i just want we just want to talk about inter-ethnic marriage or what you call inter-tribal marriage as some of you know i am Igbo and my husband is from edo, edo state i'm from an state my husband is from edo state so and of course we are married <laughs> so we fine. and we are doing fine yes. <laughs> by god's grace yeah so we just want to put our opinion about intertribal marriage out there. We may not be hundred percent right. We're just saying what we think. Yeah. Right? <laughs> We're just saying what we think. So, Devi, you're going to tell me what do you think about inter ethnic marriage? What do you think about intertribal marriage? What is your opinion about it? And why do you hold such opinion about intertribal marriage? Do you think it's a big deal, like the way our parents make much ado about, hey, you can't get married to somebody outside of your own state yeah. or outside of your own tribe? Do you think it's a big deal? Do you it's think not. it's worth all the noise that is being made? Not at all. Okay. Uh, for me, it uh, tribal marriage uh, does not really mean, in as much as the person that is being involved, the two of you understand yourself. Yeah. The first thing you have to look at, yes, you have to consider the person culture and the belief of that person. Yeah. If those beliefs and culture are things that you can you can manage, you can you cope can, with, can cope with mm. yes. There's no need worrying about whether the person is Igbo, Yoruba, all this. Mm. If the personality of the person is what is the primary thing, yes. Yes, all that things we have to consider them. I'm not I'm not disputing that fact. Yes. But if those things are things that yes you can manage, you can cope with, there is no me for me, there's no reason you cannot marry a uh, such person. Yeah. Because marriage by se is is just about those two individuals. It is between you and your spouse, not uh, your, your tribe or your village. <laughs> yes, along the line, there are some certain elements that will come into play because you are from a certain tribe. Yes. You are from a certain background. You are from a certain family, but they don't really count. Mm -hmm. If the two individuals themselves understand this, of course. The primary thing about marriage that there should be understanding. Yeah. Yes, there should be love, there should be trust, but if the understanding is there, there's nothing the two couple cannot cannot manage. There's nothing it's the not two of the can, couple they, cannot cannot control. Yes. Yes. They can just manage uh, every other thing that come up come the course of their marriage. So yeah. the tribe per se is not a, a big factor in terms yeah. of it's not a determinant. Yeah. For me, for you to get married to anybody. So in essence, you can get married to anybody, even from from India, from Germany, <laughs> in preface, anybody. Okay. In the person, it's okay by you. By you. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay. What about, because I think one of the reasons why our parents make much ado or make much noise about it is that there are some families that have been, or some places that have been stereotyped for yes. a certain kind of behavior. Yes. And I mean... Somehow, your culture affects you, influences you, yes, consciously or unconsciously. Yeah. So sometimes I think parents are afraid of their children going to marry from such kind of places, and then having such kind of features of those people. That's one. Then another one is there is always this belief that at least what you know is it the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know. know. Yes. So if, um, for example, I'm from Anambra State, right? Yes. Now, let me just use my parents as an example. They didn't do this. I'm just setting them as an example. Citing okay. them as as example, excuse me. Now, they already understand, okay, this is the way Anambra people are and all that. Okay. They are comfortable with being with Anambra as an example. They may not want you to go to maybe another state, like let me say River State or something, to go okay. and get married because they don't know the culture of River's people. Yes. Do you get me? Yeah. So cultures such as the way they treat women, yeah. you know, which is very key, you know. So they may not know these things. So they may want to say, okay, just remain in the Alhambra that we know. Yes. So that you don't have to go into something that you don't know for fear of the unknown. Don't you think it's a good reason why they do all that? Yeah. 
is a reason, but the, the answer is still this that. Mm. We should know that there's no there's no general answer to social behavior. Okay. All these things that we are saying, they are all social behavior. Yeah. And there's no particular there's no particular answer to any social behavior. Yeah. Now, if you generalize things that okay, so society culture behave like yeah, this, so certain uh, people try to behave in a certain way, and you want to differentiate, the, you want to generalize on that ground. There are still people from that culture that you see, they might not even be behave in such in such manner. Mm -hmm. That is why the individual mm -hmm. now have to, have to come into play. Yeah. Uh, you cannot just deny that, okay, the caliber they behave in a certain manner. Yeah. Whereby, they are, okay, for example, I'm from a state, okay. but my whole bringing mainly whether because I grew up in Delta State. Exactly. And I have <laughs> most of my most of the belief I'm made from the environment I grew up with. Yes. So you can see somebody from Rivers that does not even have that character of, of Rivers. a Rivers man. Yeah. That does not even know most of those cultures. <laughs> in essence, at the end it's still the individual that yes. matters, yes. not the culture. But so I tell to generalize which is not so good. Yeah. So, okay, so can we just that. say that when someone wants to get married, whether it is inter-ethnic yeah. or it is with intra-ethnic, yes. at least you just make your own bit of inquiries Inquiry. and let the rest the be. Yes. yes, the nuclear family, the nuclear family, the nuclear family and family. understand how it need be. Yeah. But for me, call, uh, uh, talking about the it's, tribe, the village, uh, <laughs> I'm not getting married to the whole village. If sometimes uh, you are, baby, sometimes. Yes, yes sometimes. Yeah. I have said that. So let's but, just say that. You you shouldn't make it like a priority. A priority. Yes. That once yes. one one village man somewhere is wrong, that uh -huh. the individual is wrong. Is wrong. So you now oh, dissolve yes. such marriage. That this uh, this this tribe they behave in such manner. Everybody yeah. there yeah. have to behave like that. That's why it's not, for me. Yeah. The individual. Is the primary, yes, is the primary thing you have to consider okay. before that thing. Okay. It's quite deep, baby. It's not yeah. as simple as yes, we are seeing it, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Because I know Sometimes, a number of people that have really, they, their parents have not allowed them to go further sure, with their marriage just sure. because, to go to get married even, just because they are not from the same, same state time. or yes. one thing or the other has, yes. you know. You can say, our, my opinion might be subjective anyway. Uh, yeah, you can yeah. say that, but. Exactly. Uh, that's the way I look at it. <laughs> Yeah, it's fine. You are entitled to your own <laughs> yeah, opinion. Yes. For me too, I really don't have issues with that. And that's why I got married. Not Yeah. Oh, not. <laughs> I have a lot my, my children, of my daughter, my son to get married. Are you doing advert now? Yeah, no. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Thank yeah. you very much baby, for coming to my channel. Thank you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And you can give us your own opinion. Share your opinion on the comment section. Keep the conversation going. You guys know I love to read your comments and I always reply your Thank comments. Thank you. See you in some other time. <laughs> the chance. I highly happy on this on this. Platform. Yes. <laughs> so if I'm just lucky to this. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching right. please give my video video a thumbs up by clicking the like button drop me your comments like i've said before and if you haven't subscribed please tell them to subscribe baby. subscribe please <laughs> please click that subscribe button so that you get the ministry moving i will see you guys in my next video bye see ya <laughs>